It was during the, a time after Easter that I went on a retreat in Northern California. And the one leading that retreat was Dr. Alan Jones, who is and was at that time the Dean of the Cathedral in San Francisco. Very well respected, a deep and abiding, wonderful spiritual director. And he sat there and just simply asked us a question. How many of you ever feel like you ever do enough? There's not a hand that went up. How many of you feel like you do enough with your spouse? No hands. Children? Your work? Then he said, that points to the fact that we really need to deal with the impossibility of perfection because none of us get there. And he said there is a, a slide towards something very diabolical if we don't catch it at the beginning. Well, we might want to come out there and be perfect at all of those things I just named and many more, but we can't. And because perfection is impossible, if we don't deal with that at the outset in life and cannot pull off that perfection, we slide to a, another level that he called ambition. Ambition is where I take perfection and I narrow it down to a more realizable size. Ambition looks like, um, you know, my wife doesn't like me at all, my children don't respect me, but by golly, I'm gonna be the best insurance salesman in all of Northern California. And then when that fails, I fall into the third level, sliding down the hill toward vindictiveness. It looks like this. Let me tell you the wonderful person I could have been if I had the right wife, the right children, and the right boss. And so Dean Allen Jones, he was telling us, make sure to realize that perfection doesn't come to us. So what do we do with the words of Jesus? You shall be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Now the problem with that word perfect is it really means complete. It'd be far better if we translated it that way. You shall be complete as your Father in heaven is complete. And here's the kicker. That completion, that perfection, that wholeness, that shalom that we yearn for in God never, ever, ever comes to us by our own effort, but by the grace of God. You shall be complete as God is complete as you enter into his dwelling place and know that all is well, all manner of things are well. May God help us as we wrestle with these things, these goals that we create never to be achieved and rely on the power of his grace. That is certainly my hope in the shadow of Easter. Amen.